Hi everybody, it's Isological here, and I'm going to be showing you kind of a proof of concept of this project I've been working on lately. Um, here is the, I don't really have a name for it, I never have names for my stuff, but anyways, it's basically, uses the Raspberry Pi to serve content to any, ba basically, now, basically any web-enabled device, because most devices now have some sort of universal plug-and-play functionality to them and what it basically does is it uses a program called mini DLNA um, to serve that content uh, and the computer reads it as a universal plug and play device and a lot of stuff has it like for example most OS's that you're gonna see have it most modern OS's have it um, my TV has it my phone has it it's pretty great um, so basically it just serves content to anywhere you would want it um, I'm using VLC on the computer to access that data so when like you can see there it's just it's under network um, network streams and universal plug and play and there you go so the great thing about VLC is it's cross-platform so it works on Mac uh, Mac and or OS 10 I, I know OS 10 I'm using OS 10 so I know it's that and then it works on Windows which you'll see in the next clip and I'm using a clip from the show 30 Rock so I really like that show <laughs> um, yeah so here we have the Windows stream this all this so none of this is local this is all this is all on the network so you can see I sort of jump around when I have the video open I jump around in the file that shows you that the the scrubbing time is really quick. It doesn't take. There's not much of a buffer needed at all. Like on like the. Uh, this is kind of to replace my pogo plug. I made a couple videos of it on my old channel, but I use that a lot actually. Use that little device a lot over the past like two or three years, and um, sort of moving on up from it. I guess the Raspberry Pi is a lot more advanced. It's got a much better GPU. Um, you can do output so eventually this will be a back-end service to a TV home theater PC hopefully so a little spoiler alert there and here is the uh, Ubuntu I'm using I reformatted my netbook I had Debian on it Debian squeeze on it for a while and I just kind of got sick of not having the support of an Ubuntu community. I mean, Debian has a great community, but Ubuntu is just much better, much more extensive, I, I think. And here's that same clip of 30 Rock. So it's across three operating systems, no problem at all. You can see it's kind of choppy, but this netbook is definitely reaching the end of its life. It's not, I think it's just like barely a gigahertz processor, which is not, I mean, not great, but I mean, I use it all. It's a great companion device, but you can see it still scrubs through the video fine. Not as great as the bigger computers, but yeah, so check check back soon for the blog post. Oh, actually, I'll just put the blog post in the description, so if you want any... There's no real source here, it's just an installation process and a configuration file. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.